Hello everyone. My name is Sanja Antolovic Kurtovic. I'm a school psychologist and I've been working at this school for the past 20 years. Students are very excited with this opportunity to participate in the Erasmus project. It is a bit adventure for them. Uh, for many of them, this would be first time to be separated from their parents and first time to leave the country without parents. So it's a bit challenging. Also, they are very excited and motivated to meet their peers from other countries, to learn uh, in a new way and uh, to uh, find out something more about other cultures. For me personally, this is also a great opportunity and my first time to participate in Erasmus project. Uh, I'm looking forward to broaden my perspectives and to step out of my comfort zone, to meet colleagues and uh, to learn something more. We are also a bit sad uh, because everything is postponed and delayed due to coronavirus situation, but uh, we have to be optimistic and be patient uh, because all of this shall also pass, right? My name is Igor, I am geography teacher in our school and uh, Erasmus Plus coordinator uh, for all projects. Uh, this is our first project ever and uh, from the beginning it was very strange and everything was new, but every part of project was very well managed from uh, my colleagues and from children. Uh, children are very proud and competitive in every part of project. They are very happy. We, we, cho we chose uh, 15 uh, students, so they are very proud because they are part of this project and they feel very special because of that. Uh, they, ha they had a lot of uh, tasks in our school like uh, some additional classes of English or mathematician uh, or something else and uh, then it was started with this disease and everything stopped. Uh, pupils are very happy because they have uh, opportunity to help some other pupils from all uh, around of Europe because they will make some uh, plan or some uh, kind of book which will uh, make easier to other students to learn some hard mathematician tasks or something like that. Uh, of course, all community uh, in Valpovo knows for our project because in local newspapers and our regional newspaper uh, we, uh, we send them uh, a lot of news about this project. Our headmaster and me, uh, we were in Turkey in first meeting. It was I figure, figured out in that time that everything will be well and nicely managed because in uh, short short time we we talked about everything and uh, we we made a lot of tasks for all of us. Uh, we are very delightful because. Uh, France, uh, French National Agency uh, decided to to, to make, a make an extension for our project because uh, some, uh, we think that the, the main reason for this project is uh, are our children because the project is for them and for other children from all around Europe. So we will be pleased to meet you in your country and we will be very honored to meet you here in our local place in Valpovo, in Croatia, and we will, we, we are hope that it will be very soon. So, see you. Hello everyone, my name is Goran, I am a mathematics teacher in our school. This is first time for me and my students to participate in a project like this. I hope everything will be okay and that we'll travel and meet each other very soon. Hello dear Erasmus friends, my name is Ingrid. I have been teaching English and History in the school for the last 12 years. Um, we have been preparing our, uh, our students for uh, this project uh, through many different uh, board games, uh, different interactive um, quizzes about culture, mathematical challenges. Uh, they're very active, uh, they're participating uh, from uh, the first day 
and uh, are willing uh, to travel and to meet uh, our friends from different countries. Uh, through this project we got the chance to get connected with other schools, uh, well, meet other European uh, friends and uh, create uh, and continue with uh, our cooperation and friendship. Dear Erasmus friends, it is a great pleasure for all of us to participate in Project Erasmus. We hope that we will soon continue our project and meet each other. Till this moment, you can watch a video about our town and our school. I hope we will see each other soon. Valpova is a small town in Slavonia, in Croatia. It is close to the Drava River, uh, 25 kilometers northwest of Osijek. The population of Valpovo is 7,406 inhabitants. Valpovo is one of seven cities in the Osijek Baranja County through which flows the Karašica River. It is the administrative center of the city itself and its seven suburban settlements. According to the latest census, the town of Valpovo with suburban settlements has a population of 11,563. Valpovo's rich history dates back to ancient times, when Jovalium was mentioned. Valpovo's most important cultural and historical landmark is the Prando Norman Castle complex in the heart of the city first mentioned by historical sources in 1438. In the center of Valpovo is the Baroque parish church of the Immaculate Conception of Virgin Mary from the first half of the 18th century. Today there are two kindergartens in the town of Valpovo, the elementary school of Matija Petar Katančić which also includes the music school and the Valpovo Secondary School. The central annual event of folklore and cultural creativity is the Valpovo Summer Festival, which takes place every year in the last week of June with a tradition of more than 50 years. <laughs>